Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and free live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show, Wednesday, September 21st, 2016. Now, the Nasdaq has turned uh, negative uh, as usual as uh, since the last about 10 days. The same scenario happened over and over. You, you, you see it yesterday again, again today. I don't know how they do that, though. You know, it seems to be a pretty tricky thing because how can you do a scenario like this like every single day the market opens higher and then and then comes back you know uh, look at the uh, the Dow Jones it's about the same you know so it's it's so uh, 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 funny look at the, the the spy here the market opened higher and down oh, not this day but here it start it, it opened up and went down down and down and down and down and down again so um, the Fed is going to talk at, um, at 2 p.m. things could change but I'm, we've been told that the market was going up to, uh, last night uh, uh, in, uh, in Japan because of the Bank of Japan because uh, they keep their, their interest rate uh, unchanged and, um, and uh, I don't think it's that important but the market went up anyway so who cares so far I think the Fed could change something this afternoon there's a let's go on the, a few uh, result uh, FedEx uh, 278 290 so that's why the stock goes up General Mills 75 to 78 it's a better result but the stock is going down Adobe 72 75 and uh, Kibi Home at 39 42 the stock does exactly the same thing as the spiders and uh, CarMax 88 88 so it, it's going down Microsoft uh, is increasing its dividend by 29 cents and they will buy back 40 billions in share and Clovis uh, has been long considered as a target for an acquisition by a long list of buyer potential buyer uh, that includes uh, Ailey Lily 
and uh, Merck and uh, Rush. So um, pretty nice uh, stock anyway. So um, uh, I, I think that, that this stock is is nice potential whenever he starts a new bullish cycle. And uh, T-Mobile uh, is uh, is uh, is a target from uh, uh, Comcast. And there was a the news on Orbit uh, just uh, saying that uh, uh, their uh, their activities uh, continue progressing for the fur and uh, and uh, 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 towards uh, the, the third quarter where they uh, supposed to reach the commercial production. And Bombard is still in problems uh, because uh, um, uh, because of the reduction of the on the business jet and the. Uh, and and and, uh, and 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 the delay uh, for receiving the motors and and all of that, but you know so now it's down here. It's stabilized at least for the moment. Let's see it this way. So um, uh, this is Bombardier, and now we have reached the end, the bottom of the bearish cycle. Will we have another one, or it's just uh, simply? A, a, a nice spot to buy it back. We'll see it whenever it takes off again. So uh, in the meantime, um, I think we should uh, stay put there. And on the next downward move, if you have a short, uh, uh, a, a, a short-term position on it, then maybe you'll consider to sell it back to buy it back to, to sell it to buy it back later. And if it start back up, it's, uh, it should be around a dollar seventy. Dollar seventy-five would be the next reversal into a um, new bullish cycle. So let's see the market again. Uh, now the TSX is coming down too. So the NASDAQ is now negative, the Dow is, uh, the SPY will become and the TSX is coming back down. And, uh, uh, and most of the sectors that were going up this morning came back down. And, uh, and and this is uh, so uh, a consumer discretionary went from an increase this morning to the negative side now consumer staples uh, the uh, tele telecom and uh, the healthcare and all of the others that did that did not come back down are uh, just began the, to come back down now the uh, the financials the industrials just a few minutes ago started to started the the uh, the uh, to come back in the opposite direction and uh, and even uh, most of the uh, resources that, that that stays right up there all morning now are coming back are coming down too. look at the mining coming down rapidly right now so uh, it seems like that there are worries now on the market so you know before buying long anything uh, you know I think uh, we should uh, really really think about it because uh, there isn't much uh, 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 bullish momentum. There was the gold this morning that was going up, and it seems to be great when you look at that, you know? Uh, look, um, let me make... If you look at this, so seeing the gold doing that this morning looks nice, but see what, what when you look at the uh, daily chart, what happened? And now it's so... I think we, we have to have a clear second movement here, because so far it's the same on the stocks you know we have a very very important up here and it's coming down at the moment and when you look at the stocks no one is is breaking out yet they just they just bounce back like oh, Cisco and uh, look uh, uh, those uh, look like a new bullish cycle but they are a very important resistance right here so I think we are missing st still uh, uh, something you know we, we we've got to see a much bigger wave of buyer which is not happening because the volumes remains low so I am gold went up it's coming down Kinross went up it's coming down so this double resistance here is very tough to pass so I think it would be it is too early and and too risky to buy some more gold hold the one you have because the gold is not going down anymore but to buy some more, I would be very cautious on it. 
So let's look at uh, what the sector looks like uh, when uh, we look this, at it this way. So, so the crude oil bounced back, but it's not reversing the trend. It's just a, it could be just a very small bullish, uh, bullish cycle that would end very, very soon. And the gas doesn't want to continue its breakout from yesterday. So if you have some HNU or something like that to hold on it for a while still, because the, there are still good chances uh, to see the the um, the the market the the, the gas uh, uh, pushing further up but it's not the case at the moment so the gold i said about it but the mining it's a false signal there is no buy signal here on consumer discretionary it looks like it's the end of the bullish cycle it it is uh, the end of the uh, there was no bullish cycle first of all and it's coming down within the, within the sideway movement on telecom. There's nothing to do there. No way I would buy banks because, you know, they're, at the, they're, at, they're very, very, very tough. So they're going to slow down here. We've got to wait to see this big resistance being broken. And uh, the industrials are straight flat. The um, uh, real estate uh, has done whatever they could. This is the end of the bullish cycle, and it should come back within its downtrend. And utilities is the same too. You had to reach the top of the of this pullback, and it's, it should come back down. Healthcare is still sitting at the bottom near a new breakdown. It's very important support, but I mean, if the sector breaks through this four-time tested support, it's going to go further down. And um, the uh, staples that usually act as a refuge is not acting like this at the moment. So you know, no, and and the technology is back to its to its top. So uh, uh, we don't buy on a triple top like that. But whenever it breaks through, that would be a nice place to buy. But not for now. So you know, uh, it's still a very important thing. Um, and it in an hour twenty minutes, the Fed is going to talk, and it should it could make the resources movement accelerating on the upside or straightly uh, straight coming back down. What's going to happen? I think we got, we still got to wait for that. You know, to, sooner or later, uh, they, 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 they will say something that, uh, that's going to make the market do something. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, well, I do have uh, four or five questions here, so feel free to send me your question if you have any. Um, what what should I do with uh, 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 GIB.A, which is uh, Group CGE? Um, I bought this stock on September 1st, 6498. September first. Uh, okay, right here. Okay, on the on the uh, on, on the push here. Was it the volume here? You know the volume. There was oh, there was the second volume. Was it not so bad volume? I don't think you how you you have a position in a very uh, bad company. You know that CGE is, is a strong company. Uh, there are some phases where where it's coming back, and you know, and the market is the market, but uh, it's one of the strongest company on the market. So I I don't think you should worry about it. 
and I think you should hold it uh, still and uh, on, 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 you know at, le at the least uh, hold it at least until we see something like this so then you could withdraw some of the shares or sell it all and retake it later on uh, in a, because this is the kind of company that you buy on weak points because you know uh, whenever it touches the trend line because every time the, since years every time that stock has touched its trend line you, you are gonna make money on it it's just that once you, you, you're just unlucky because you bought it here and it seems like yes it, it was like gonna take off and change the angle of the trend but it's just not what happened so if you look at this movement here you can see that you know forget about that that place here you know you're we are back to the bottom that's what i want to see here i want to see it back to the bottom of its sideway movement so this is was just a a temporary weakness i'd say um uh, hi michel do you think it's too advanced to buy t tv what is this tv three valley mining oh yeah um uh, 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 no uh, i i mean uh, look uh, the the stock is on the, is overperforming its own sector so um no matter the mines are not going up right now and uh, and the gold neither a little bit but not that much and the tree valley mining lo looks good i mean um i'm not uh, too worried about that there's a three million volume here and it doesn't seem to be a big volume but it is because look here uh, in, in in this situation here before you had big volumes here but there was no movement associated to it so you just get rid of those and because they are stealing the space here and uh, look then uh, when you normalized all of those volume now you can see that today's volume is a pretty nice volume on the movement it's not that far you know uh, so uh, it's breaking through. Uh, I don't think the, the risk is that big. Uh, Louis and Tech, I bought this one on September uh, 2nd at 2245. Uh, tech, uh, tech. So this is the mining index, and this is Tech 2245. It's 2349 right now. So 2245, it's here. It's here. And you are left here. You're still in the money. You know that. If you push the button right now, you get out of that position with a little bit of money. What do you prefer? Leaving with a little bit of money? Leaving even? Leaving with a loss? I think you better don't take any risk. Okay? Buy it back later. Whenever it, go it goes back to 2425. In the meantime, if it takes the other way, you won't have any chance. To get out or put a stop loss at 2325 you paid two you you paid 22 2245 so you know you still make a buck here hi me again bear tv broke out on mining result news maybe too late in the circle in the cycle no it's not that far it's not that far uh no I, it's okay uh, it, it's just a couple of pennies. Oh, uh, let me answer the last question. E R X. Oops. E R E R X. Oops. Era Resources. Yeah, is buy now and wait after. Yeah, no, that's not the one. Eh? <coughs> that's New York. Direction Bull. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I wouldn't do anything. I don't think the crude oil is going to be a what a much affected by what uh, Janet Yellen is going to say. But yeah, you know, at an hour ten minutes from 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 there, uh, I I I think it's it's taking a pretty big risk to do anything except movement that's going to last ten, fifteen, twenty minutes. But anything that is in swing trading, anything that is buying a long position or even shorting things for the next hour and 10 minutes, I think it's too big of a, too big of a risk to do trades. So I think you should uh, rest, take a coffee and wait for Janet to talk on the television. Thank you very much, everyone. We'll see you later.